what's up guys this is gold mine and welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you how to record and live stream with the uh, avermedia rec central live gamer hd video input supports up to 1980 by 1080 at 60 fps the maximum recording quality is 1080p at 30 fps and it can actually record in 720p 60 fps i'll put an amazon link in the description if you want to see how much it costs if you've never seen one of these before and you're thinking about buying one so the first thing that you want to do if you've actually installed your your, uh, Aver Media into your computer and you've downloaded and installed all the drivers I'll put a link in the description if you do not have those what you want to do is open up your software click yes wait for it to load as you can see rec center Aver Media and the first thing you want to go to is capture now I'm just gonna go to the pro section of the recording software when you click it you have a whole bunch of options now what you want to do if you only have one PC and you put the PCI in the uh, PC that you want to record with, obviously you're going to check the current PC. Now this part can get a little tricky. Now if you don't have any HDMI's or you don't have a monitor with an HDMI, you're probably going to be using a DVI, so you might want to check the DVI. Again, this video does not explain how to install the Avermedia. For the audio source, have the audio in, capture device checked microphone on if you want and have it saved as a separate file. I have it saved as a separate file just for more editable abilities. Choose the mic or the uh, default mic that you use and have this on at all times. You can put it in push to talk or control with hotkeys, but I prefer always on. You can set up hotkeys if you want them, but I really don't use hotkeys. I actually use the Avermedia button that comes with it. So since I like to record my videos in 60 FPS, I have to do this resolution in 720p. So what I'm gonna be doing, 720p, 780 by 720p, bitrate is or the uh, video bitrate is going to be maxed out at 60 megabits and for video format if you actually want to edit the videos after you're done recording them always have them in an mp4 so that's basically all you need to uh, start recording so just click ready and as you can see the ui disappeared and it is now in your little icons tab menu and there are two ways to record. Now, if you have the USB Avermedia button in your computer, you can simply just click that button when it's red and you'll notice that the button will start flashing. That indicates that you are actually recording and two files will show up on your computer, one video file and one audio file. The second way you can record, this is if you don't have the button plugged into your computer, you right click on the RE Center icon and click start. Now I'm going to show you how to stream with the Avermedia and I'm going to be using OBS to stream with it. So the first thing you want to do, I'll put a link in the description. If you do not have OBS, download and install that. And if you've never used OBS before, basically what you want to do once you've have it, uh, once you've installed it and opened it, you will see scenes and sources. Now on the scenes section, what you want to do, you want to right click in the white box go to add scene and name it whatever you want. Now I already have one named YouTube test. Once you're on the YouTube test scene, go to the source section, right click, go to add and go to video capture device and name it whatever you want. Click okay and go to devices. Now as you can see, Avermedia HD capture C985 bus 2. Click that. As you can see in the resolution, again, 720p, 60fps. Now as you can see, I'm currently recording on OBS and I am using the Avermedia card. And you can see uh, OBS is mirroring itself because it's just showing the same image over and over. But this basically shows you that the Avermedia works and you can stream with it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. This is Goldmine and I'm out.